Now Mario in 3D was great. I think everyone remembers the first time leaping into one of the pictures in the castle. But we admit we haven't quite figured out how to move him into a fourth dimension. But that number, four, that's the key to Mario's next surprise. For the last 15 years, Mr. Miyamoto has been thinking about one new way to let you play a Mario game that's never been possible before. Today, here's his answer. New Super Mario Brothers for Wii. To explain and demonstrate, please welcome Bill Trennan from our Treehouse Group. Bill? Thank you, Cammie. Now, as Cammie pointed out, creating something new for a game as classic as Super Mario Brothers is hard to do. We managed to do it on Nintendo DS, and 18 million people around the globe appreciated the surprise that that game had to offer. But when our development team in Kyoto asked what they could do to make an all-new New Super Mario Brothers game for Wii, the answer wasn't just more levels, more enemies, and more items. It was also more players. So, Cami, why don't you come back out and play along with some of our friends from the Treehouse? I think it's only fair that you get to play as Mario, so Nate Bildorf will be joining as Luigi, JC Rodrigo as Blue Toad, and Rich Amtower as Yellow Toad. Now, play control is as simple as it ever was, with a few new twists added in. You can play with one to four players, and item boxes generally produce one item for each player in the game. But not always. And it doesn't always mean that one player is going to get an item. Now, uh-oh, I think we've already seen one player lose a life, and that's two. You're seeing a couple of new features here. The first, you can pick up and carry other players. Now, if you're cooperatively minded, you can do that to uh, help save them from those enemies or those pits. If you have other things in mind, you might want to throw them at those enemies or those pits. Now, the other thing that you've noticed is uh, when people do lose a life, they have a tendency to come back inside of a bubble. Now, again, if you're nice, you might want to let them out of the bubble so they can come back in and continue to play. But if you want to get all the coins for yourself, you don't necessarily have to. You'll notice that the game does include many of the, uh, the classic trappings, warp pipes, uh, hidden areas, lots of coins to collect. You'll also notice that this time around, the battle those, for those coins is probably a little bit more fierce. Now I'm just going to let them play for a little bit while I tell you a little bit about the structure of, of how this game works and the balance between single player and multiplayer. The main mode of the game you can play in single player mode. Or, if you want to, you can play it in co-op with up to four players. You can start in one and you can switch to the other at any point in time. So if you happen to find a <laughs> particularly hard level, you can call your friends over for help. What you see here is another new item. This is the propeller suit. If I had one of those, I'd be wearing it every day. That thing is sweet. Quick little shake of the Wii remote will shoot you high up in the sky and you'll slowly drift back down. Now, of course, you can do that to save yourself from one of those pits, or you can use it to help yourself find new levels. Uh-oh. Looks like uh, Blue Toad uh, had a little trouble there. I wonder if anybody's going to... Oh, let him out. Very nice. Now, you can see that with four players, there's a lot going on. The screen is nice enough that it'll pan out to a much wider view when people spread out. Uh, but if the player at the lead goes a little bit too fast, uh, you may find that uh, if you're at the back, you get wiped off screen. Stop <laughs> that. You'll also find uh, some nice use of uh, hidden areas, uh, pipes and things like that as well. And I think at this point, we're probably getting closer to the end of the game, or at least the end of this level at any rate. Yes, sliding, more propeller suits. And here we get to the end of the level. Oh, Luigi. Now, as soon as one player touches the flagpole, the others have about three seconds for them to grab on if they want to get any bonus points. And at the end of every level, you get a nice tally. It shows you how many coins you collected, how many enemies you stomped, tallies up all your bonus points, and gives you a ranking. So let's see how things panned out here. Well... Looks like uh, first place goes to Rich, uh, second place to Luigi, always uh, the underdog. Third goes to JC.